Welcome back to Keris Investment, where investments are made simple, guys. Breaking news, big, big news. And this means a lot for anyone that bought shares yesterday or in the last few days and kept holding at below $9 per share. Now, I told you guys yesterday in that live post I made that says, hey, be aware there will be something massive that's about to happen in terms of bed, bath, and beyond. And if you are still holding shares, then this is absolutely amazing for you. I'll jump right into it. But before we do that, guys, let's jump um, into the intros. Yes, indeed. Welcome back. Um, if you guys have been following the market, you understand that Ryan Coin sold his shares and Bed, Bia, um, Bed Bath & Beyond completely tanked um, erase all that lovely gain that we um, enjoyed um, in the last week. Now, if you guys were following my videos as well, I let you guys know that I was in just around $9.40. I was able to make two great trades above 27 and then went back in at 19 and then above 28 again. And I told you guys in that video that it's going to be a massive pullback. Make sure if you guys are planning to exit, sell your shares or use a stop loss. I always tell people this, use a stop loss when you're not sure. Um, if the stock is volatile, make sure you exit before the end of the day. Hopefully some of you guys made that smart decision, but enough about the past, let's jump right into it. So basically um, news came out this morning. Uh, let me just bring my screen up here. News came out that um, um, Bed Bath & Beyond, um, they secure loan. And right away we saw the stock price just completely um jumps let's take a look here look at my news here i'm seeing here on yahoo finance we see bed bath and beyond um secures loan deal to raise cash uh, we go here we look on barons we see the same thing basically bed bath and beyond secure a loan to build its cash level and pay down debt which gives the investors and suppliers confident in the retail um company so basically this loan will ease the pressure on the company so they have uh, some cash flow going here it says that it had been seeking about $375 million. Um, though uh, details of the deal, of the loan, um, was not, um, and basically details of the loan uh, was not published yet, so we can draw an accurate um, assumption, right? And I don't want to speculate. I want to make sure whatever we discuss on this channel is real information, nothing to it. I hate speculating, but let's jump into what we are seeing today. So the stock closed off the day yesterday, if we recall, just around, um, closed off just around $8 and 78 cents around that. We will double check in a, in a bit here. Yeah. So closed off yesterday, right here, we can see at $8 and 78 cents. We have seen it opens the day, um, $11, and seven cents and obviously a day high of eleven dollars and ninety seven cents so in a in a snapshot we have seen a massive um 35 38 percent this morning so anyone that bought shares yesterday anything below nine dollars could have made a quick plus 30 plus percent on their investment and this is this is the basically what i like i i love this now if you guys recall Yesterday, I went live and I created a video and I said, listen, big things about to happen. Make sure you guys are taking a look in Bed Bath & Beyond because I'm buying some shares today, right? And that was yesterday about 10 in the morning or so. And then we saw 24 hours later, we're up more than 35, 38%. So this is the type of transaction or, or say short-term play that we like to jump in. We like to jump in in a quick run and then exit. The funny thing about it, as I mentioned to you guys in time and time again, my phone is actually blowing up right now, but in time and time again, I tell you guys, I says, hey, I enjoy trading. Um, I enjoy trading in the aftermarket and pre-market because I woke up just around 6.30, started doing some research to check to see how the price is. And about uh, just after eight, uh, I think 8.01, I think from 750 to like 820, we saw the price was above $11.70. So I was able to exit the trade at $11.62. 
And I was able to get back in the trade just around $11 and then sell again at market open and then rebuy at market low and then make a few profit here and there. So I'm not telling you guys that you have to go and do the same kind of trades, but if you have access or if you have the time to check the pre-market out or the off-the-market hours out, you can um, get great um, trades done because um, I was able to cash out in the, in the pre-market and I was able to buy again sell on the open market news, buy again low, and then sell again. So I'm just waiting to see where the price will do right now. Again, I am using a stop loss. And this is why I sell um, high in the pre-market and I rebought low in the pre-market because I understand that my stop loss does not work in the pre-market and off the market. So I took advantage of the high price and then I bought low. So once the market opens, and the price starts to run, I can trade with a stop loss to make sure I'm, I'm protecting uh, my capital should the price starts to come back. So this is one of the way that you can trade Bed Bath & Beyond. You don't need to make it complicated. Um, if you guys watch my last few videos, and I try to make all my videos as simple as possible, not too much technical. Basically on my screen, you can see I have the RSI and I have uh, the MACD. Uh, Sometimes I use the Bollinger Band, but I don't wanna go too much into it because i want to keep it so anyone that's looking um, at a start they can get something for it if you recall last week before all this huge drop i told everyone above 28 dollars per share sell take a profit and don't be greedy enjoy the win and re-enter at a low price and take the profit again if you guys did those simple steps you could have made enormous amount of profit on this trade because we understand it was volatile trading has been volatile so it's no secret um, for anyone to say um oh they didn't know of course we know right we understand once the price goes up it's going to come down now with the exception for ryan cohen when he exit and that news actually delayed okay in that situation you cannot control but if you guys were just sticking to the fundamentals um you would have easily be able to exit no, I still think that Bed Bath & Beyond may have a second run into it. Now, if you remember the very first video I make, I think three weeks back or two weeks back, I said, if you look at the six month pattern of Bed Bath & Beyond, or if you could uh, take a look in the last year, we always see it comes back down in the low single digit or teens. And then we see it goes for a huge spike. It crosses above 25. Then we see it comes back in the teens or single digit again. And then it goes for another run. This was in March and December. We saw the same pattern as what it's showing right now, right? We saw it comes down. We saw it makes a run, crosses over 28. Then we saw it comes all the way back down in July in the very low single digit. Um, and then we saw it make a massive run. It crosses 28 the first run. Second run, it crosses $30 per share. Then it pulls all the way back down. If you're following these pattern with Bed Bath & Beyond, and if you take a look at the full chart sometime, don't just look at the the day or the week that's going on, we we'll take an overall look and see the pattern and see every time we see the stock goes for a low, it seems to bounce us back, right? So again, the market is volatile. Nothing is guaranteed. I'm not saying that the impossible um, can happen and it goes lower. It, it can, it, it can, and it could, and it did, right? So we have to keep that in mind that says it did these things before and it bounces back. Now, keep in mind, guys, once they start securing your financing deal, who knows? We may have investor comes back in and then the stock price starts to pump again. But you can't wait until it gets to 25, 28 and go in because at that point, you're um, you're fooling yourself and you're tricking yourself to get stuck on a stock that you do not want to get stuck with a high price. That's why you must try to enter into bed, bottom, BN at a low price. Anything in single digit is better than being... 11 12 13 dollars per share you want to be anything that's below five dollars below eight dollars per share below nine dollars um, each time i try to get it in the single digit it plays out for me now this is not financial advice i'm just sharing in my opinion so before you go ahead and invest make sure that you actually doing research to make sure that you're comfortable taking these trades because it's a stock market the market could um, the market could go either direction. There's no one could control um, anything, right? You just gotta be, you just gotta be well prepared 
So if the market starts to go the opposite direction, you understand because you anticipate um, that movement in the market. And this is simple. What I'm saying, guys, keep it simple. Um, this is why my channel says investments made simple because I like to keep it as simple as possible. Um, if we look at the full year or the two year spectrum, we can see exactly what it's doing. If you want to look um, from last December or last October, it's doing the exact same thing. Um, so if you're in the market, make a decision, follow your instinct and follow your plan. Um, don't deviate unless if it's necessary. And of course, um, if you're not in it for long term, if you don't have funds, I should say that you don't need right away, then I wouldn't take the risk. But if you have funds that you can wait, then this is a calculated risk, in my opinion. But again, let me know what you guys think. If you guys were able to sell some shares this morning that you picked up in the last day or two, or if you guys were able to unload some shares that you picked up a week or two back that you got trapped, um, regardless of the situation, let us know. And then, hey, let's see what we can do. It's a family. So like, share, and subscribe. If you're not yet subscribed, if you are subscribed, guys, I appreciate you 100%. Let's keep this channel growing because there's a massive amount of stocks that we could cover. Um, there's a ton of opportunity on the market and we'll all get there together. So like, share, and subscribe, guys. Until next time, peace out.